So hello everyone, I'm Lorenzo from ID Tech X and uh, I'm here with Arnu and Vladimir from uh, Comberry. Uh, this is a Russian company that has developed a solid state uh, supercapacitor and I will let, um, the, uh, I will, I will let them uh, tell you more about this. So, um, Thank you. Arnu, tell us a bit about this uh, technology and uh, you know, what's behind it. So what, what we're showing here today, we have a thin foam uh, supercapacitor, but it's a, it's a pseudo capacitor in the sense that it's a, a capacitor with battery, like lithium ion battery properties. Okay. So we have the best of both worlds in the sense that you, our capacitor has a thickness if you combine all the layers less than one micrometer. Yeah, that's pretty thin. Yeah, so that was our focus right now, to see how thin we can get the actual device without having any short circuits or, or problems with the functioning. If you look at these devices, we have stripped them all. So in a sense, you can scribe or strip your device without uh, killing it. Each individual section will work separately. And for example, here we have a, a three square centimeter device that is 900 nanometers thick, but it will power a red LED for half an hour. So that's how much uh, capacity you have in such a small space. Wow. And uh, you have also done some work on electrochromic uh, devices. That's right? correct. Our, our original research was based on uh, solid state electrolytes and electrochromic uh, devices, but we've made this uh, slight spin off uh, based on uh, supercapacitors because okay. uh, we're looking into energy storage right now and right, we feel that uh, supercapacitors are more interesting for us than, than batteries at this stage because we can short circuit as well as uh, discharge to zero uh, our supercapacitors without any damage to the actual device and we can also fast charge it by using a high voltage say 15 volts or even much lower it just affects the time of the charge and uh, still have the same output voltage and current. Uh, we are currently have an OCV of 3.2 volts, and that is just for this very thin form that we're presenting over here. Okay, um, right. Uh, so uh, uh, I will let maybe uh, Dr. Vladimir uh, Mershayak tell us a bit more about the technology behind it. So the technology which we use, this is uh, a new technology based on uh, actually new materials which we developed by ourselves and our company this is our know-how right now we are on the way to patent it so the main advantage and uh, the difference between supercapacitors i mean uh, a common supercapacitors and uh, this hybrid all solid state supercapacitor that there is no mass transfer of uh, lithium from one electrode to another one. It's based on uh, other technologies, you know, other approaches, other materials, which is which have a different type of uh, conductivity, like lithium-ion conductivity, electron conductivity, and uh, hole conductivity at the same time. So based on the tunnel effect, it can be charged very fast. It can be discharged with high power. It, uh, it's not so sensitive to the temperature range. It can work uh, from minus 20 to 200 uh, degrees Celsius. And uh, so it's uh, not sensitive to the overcharging or any other, uh, you know. Uh, you also said it's a very things. safe device because it can be cut into strips That's and it right. will still work. That's right. Uh, there is no any, uh, like, uh, flammable things or uh, any any sensitive such serious sensitive uh, materials in this device it can be assembled not in just in a normal ambient uh, you know atmosphere so necessary not necessary to apply ergon or nitrogen you know to assemble this, this is an advantage i guess okay. and uh, definitely if you will for example short circuit it or somehow break it it's it will definitely no you know you will not get flame, you, know, you will not get any negative effects from this. Mm -hmm. So and, um, I think it's, uh, it can be a, a kind of advantage of this technology. And what um, uh, applications have you, do you have in mind for this, uh, this device? I, I can see it's very thin, so it can yeah. be probably be incorporated into 
yeah. several high-tech um, gadgets. That's right. So in uh, I think uh, as uh, they they are right now in a thin film, uh, they can be applied only for uh, real microelectronics, for micro sensors, for something like this RFID tags. But uh, we are looking forward for um, uh, technological partners who can uh, scale it up to the printing technologies and uh, to make uh, our final aim to make uh, bulk devices. Uh, mm -hmm. To make uh, bulk devices, uh, to make uh, you know, such uh, competitive device to the, to the lithium ion batteries because uh, the capacity of these uh, hybrid uh, capacitors is close to the lithium ion battery but uh, you know this device has definitely uh, a lot of advantages of, you know against of lithium ion battery because it it's it can be charged uh, you know as my colleague said uh, in a very wide uh, voltage range and uh, mm -hmm. it's not uh, sensitive to the uh, you know to the current can be charged high current it can be overcharged it's not big deal it can be discharged to the zero so and the, when you assemble the cells and you would like to get you know higher voltage as usual uh, for lithium ion batteries an example it's uh, necessary to use uh, expensive uh, microelectronic balancer so to balance cells between themselves because it can overcharge and you know very negative effect it will get but here it's not sensitive you can just connect them with each other with, without any extra electronics to balance the charge uh, between the cells. Okay. That is definitely a 100% advantage. And maybe we can also have the CEO of the company telling us a bit about um, um, it. Um, okay, so we can continue with uh, Vladimir. So can you tell us a bit about uh, the structure of your company? You are a spin-off of um, um, another uh, organization, is that correct? Yeah, we are working uh, uh, in uh, Ulyanovsk, uh, mm -hmm. based on uh, uh, Ulyanovsk Center of uh, Technology Transfer. So and um, so our de so we are a small company actually, and uh, we are using the uh, the infrastructure of this center, uh, and uh, so we also you know uh, installed our. Uh, equipment that uh, so. Mm -hmm. so you also have a collaboration with the Skalkovo Institute that's in right Moscow, uh, and uh, your although your company is called Comberry its product will be marketed as a Thinica uh, that's that right correct? this is spin-off of mm -hmm. our um, company because we just uh, we uh, would like to you know to make uh, a separate direction which is connected with energy storage and uh, this spin-off is uh, Thinica. Uh, I think uh, then uh, as, a, as a Thinica brand it will be uh, it will be involved in the you know uh, Skolkova mm -hmm. as well. Okay well it was great talking to you guys uh, thanks for having me here. Thank you. And I wish you great success. Thank you. Thank you.